Hey everyone, so I finally made it back to my apartment after being in the shelter, aka the school's science building, for a few days. So yeah, if you haven't really guessed by now, or if you did not see my um, social media stuff, um, yes, I do live in Florida, or go I'm going to school in Florida, so Hurricane Irma did strike where we were, but my school is located in the Orlando area, so we did not get hit too terribly, but actually um, in my bedroom, which is over there, and that's where I've been filming for a couple videos, but I decided to move them out here because the lighting in that room is really bad, and I know I could, like, shut the blinds from that window, but um, my um, roommate put her cat's hanging bed on that window because it was the only window that gets really any sunlight or a really stable window. So she decided to put that there and I can't really pull the blinds down because it's like the wires um, go in front of the blinds and if I try to pull it down it would look weird also it would cover the bed which the cat Sybil that you saw in one of my videos um does not like so we decide to keep that window open or the blinds open anyway and and since um the lighting from that window also makes the camera look dark and horrible I decided to take it out here because I can move the blinds that lead to the other balcony back as far as I want. And plus I have lights from the kitchen over there and then the light that's hanging above this table. This is actually the dining room table. So um, my roommates don't really um, hang out here that often because they do go to class in the afternoons and such. And the only time they do is like very late at night, which I don't really film at that time anyway because I'm so tired I don't want to do anything. So, yeah, either I'm going to be filming here or I'm going to be filming in my apartment's common room, which is downstairs. But people don't usually go in there unless there's a, um apartment staff meeting, which those um don't take long and they don't really occur, like, in the late afternoons. So, um, that's all for, like video stuff, but now on um, to the hurricane story. So I posted um, two um, music themed videos on Saturday because I thought, hey, I might as well get some content out as much as I can, but then like I didn't have anything else prepared. So by Sunday afternoon, which actually Sunday morning, we were supposed to go into the science center because this building is the newest building on campus, so it has two generators and, of course, it's big enough to withstand high winds, which, yeah, Hurricane Irma was pretty bad, and um, it did um, knock down a lot of tree branches, and there was been a lot of debris around, um, not just the campus, but in the whole town. Even, like, power lines got knocked down, so... The town was in like, like it had a, like, or even the whole Orange County had a very strict curfew to follow because um, the storm did hit us that bad. I mean, not as bad as, actually, it was worse than Hurricane Matthew last year. And for Hurricane Matthew, I stayed at my grandmother's house because my grandma thought it's not going to be that bad, so she can come, I or I can come stay there. This time... Because Hurricane Irma was worse, um, they suggested me to stay on campus because at least they know what to do. I could at least still park my car in the parking garage so it doesn't get flooded. And, um, and that my aunts thought that I was not capable of driving all the way up north if they had to. And considering like probably how bad traffic would be. I probably would not have been capable to drive up there in the first place. So Sunday morning, I went into the shelter and I have noticed that when I got there, there were like a lot of freshmen, 
who are staying overnight. Like, I don't know, like, what, like, like, the algorithm of, like, who stays in the shelter or not was, because for Hurricane Matthew, it was actually a lot more people that showed up last year. And I'm assuming that's, that was because, oh, they thought Matthew was not going to be, like, a, such a terrible of a hurricane, so a lot more people stayed on campus instead of, like, going elsewhere. I mean, they're kind of right. But then for Hurricane Irma, a lot more college students evacuated, like, as quickly as possible. So, in the camp, so on the campus, there were like 300 or something students. And this is not a terribly big campus, but it's not too small either. We have like um, maybe like 20,000 students, like for all graduating years, or, so, or like maybe something less. I don't remember anymore. Being a senior now, I totally forgot what the numbers were. And they told us that we were the biggest graduating class until the next graduating class showed up. So it's like, I don't even care anymore. So, um, yeah, we got lucky because with the less students that showed up to, um, to the Bush building, which is what we call the science building, um, it's big, but it's not too big because the majority of the classrooms are either professors' offices or, um, lab rooms, which, of course, we can't go into a professor's office because they would think we're going to end up stealing from their desks or something like that, and honestly, I wouldn't blame them. And we couldn't really use the lab rooms because those, those are where they put the chemicals for, for um, chemistry and biochem and stuff like that, so they don't want to put us in rooms that we're going to get risks of getting sick or possibly dying or accidentally breaking something in there. So of course they, those closed and there were like a few actual classrooms on each floor. Like there's three floors to this building. So of course the wisest decision was, oh, let's go on the third floor because at least we're not gonna risk getting flooded, which that didn't happen because Bush is that really good of a building that it didn't even flood on the first floor. Like, if anything, it was probably going to flood the basement. Which, no one went down there anyway, because there's so much storage down there. Like, why would they do that? And plus, it's a hurricane. And plus, during a hurricane, no one wants to send the students down to the basement. So, um, I wouldn't say there was, like, anything eventful. Like, I know a few of my friends stayed behind because they don't live in the Florida area. So, they really couldn't go with their families back like to a safe area or anything like that. So I hung out with them and that was fun. And then I also met some new kids. We were pl we played um, uh, Cards Against Humanity, Quiplash. I love Quiplash. And watched the movies. And uh, yeah, the, just um, yesterday they had like a whole giant Harry Potter marathon because um, the store, the worst part of the storm passed us at 2.30 in the morning, uh, yesterday morning. So, and we, we couldn't really get out until today because um, campus safety has to inspect all the buildings just to make sure that they're actually functional, especially the um, residence halls, because if residence halls are have been flooded or the windows have been damaged by trees and such, they couldn't move us back in until those were fixed. But fortunately, nothing bad terribly happened. Like, I mean, I know I was complaining about the screen breaking on my balcony outside my room, but it was that was not like too bad of damage. Like, just as long as I get it fixed before like a next rainstorm happens, I'll be fine. I mean, it was nothing like, oh, like the door on my balcony didn't break because that would have been a lot worse. Because especially while it was like pouring cats and dogs out there when the hurricane happened, my, like mine and my roommate Charlotte's bedroom, we share we share a room. Like that would have been terribly flooded. Like our our stuff would have been destroyed. Our beds would have been soaked, and that would have been a terrible mess. But of course, that did not happen, which is good. The only damage that the slight flooding did with the screen breaking because the water like I think seeped under the door 
was that it stained a part of the floor, which I can clean, like, with ease, or even, like, facilities can clean. Which, like I said, is not too terrible. It's just, like, stained with, like, palm tree debris and stuff. Like, nothing, like, no, like, dirt didn't come in to the room. Or not even, like, a whole, like, pool of water. Because, also, we live right, right on the lake. Like, the apartments, even though it's kind of off campus, but kind of on campus, like, we live next to a um, public park. Like, they call it a beach, but I would not really call it that, because there is sand, it, there's like a sandbar, but it's like on the lake, and not, we are like nowhere near the ocean, because like I said, this is a town near Orlando. And, and when I went outside, and when we finally come, came, when we finally came out of the shelter today, I decided to take a walk around the lake, and yeah, the lake level was higher than usual because the dock that um that comes off that beach area next to my apartment I was talking about, like that whole pier was underwater. Like I saw like the tip of these stairs or from the dock because people like to jump into the water. It, like, it's a swimming area. Like, people jump into the water and they use the stairs to climb back up to the dock. Like, I only saw, like, the tip, the rounded tips of those stairs. And that was it. I was, and I was, like, it's probably going to go away after a couple days because usually when the water rises after a terrible storm, it goes down to normal level after a certain period of time when it stops raining, which is a good th which is a really good thing. But yeah, like, I looked at that and I was like, oh shit, thank god the water did not rise, like, to the point that it flooded the first floor of our part of the apartment complex, because flooding on the first floor of this building has happened before, but not, like, it wasn't during the time I was here, or the last time it did, my um, roommate, Charlotte, actually told me that a pipe burst and it flooded the whole first floor. It was not even a hurricane or giant storm. It was a pipe burst, which I don't know how that's possible to get because, oh yeah, she told me like, because the um, Sutton Apartments was not on like the school system plumbing, it was on the public town plumbing because um, Sutton Apartments actually used to be um, a nursing home or an old folks home before my school bought the property after the old folks home ran out of business. And um, so yeah, if it does kind of look um, damp and old fashioned in here, that's why. But honestly, I like it in here. It's not like it did, when I walked in, it didn't like come to me like this was an old folks home until someone told me, like, who cares? But um, but yeah, like I said, there's been like, damage around town. I was not allowed to go walking around, like, especially since that the power lines were still down. Like, even like, like, even if there is a curfew put in place, some people just don't like following the rules because they just don't care about the rules. So actually one person yesterday in our town um, was walking through, like, like, because curfew was at 6 p.m., but and by 6 p.m., like, people can go outside again. But, um, he didn't follow. This was, like, early morning. So he was, like, taking a walk. And he stood too close to a power line and, got, and, all got, and was electrocuted to death. So I was, like, even if the curfew was raised, I'm not taking any chances to, like, take a walk around the town. Or even take a drive around town. Because I bet, like, not even all the debris has been taken up yet. Or has been cleaned up. Because... A lot of reports have been saying, oh, tr giant trees have fallen onto the road and it's basically impossible to drive through. And, you know, giant trees, they're like basically like giant, like filled in logs. Like it's going to be impossible to drive those out without like the proper vehicles. And I'm assuming those are going to be like very large fucking trucks. And, and I know, and I've been told that 67% of Florida, um, 
was affected basically by the hurricane. Like either they lost power or there was damage, like damage to their houses, like damage to a city or a town area, especially Miami, like Fort Lauderdale, like like the south to the east side of Florida. I think that's the case. Like I have, I have friends who um, went back to the west side of Florida because they think um, it was not going to reach them as badly. And I have a friend who lives in Sarasota, and he sent me pictures, and there was um, some flooding even over there. And but I don't really know how bad it got. Like he just showed me like Snapchat videos of yeah, oh yeah, like that house like had like their garden destroyed or. Like, yeah, this road is, like, completely flooded. So even, like, yeah, some of the west side got, got hit really badly. And considering 67% of Florida, no less, like, everyone knows Florida is a giant state. So 67% is a very large number. And I mean very large number. And Hurricane Irma was so bad and anticipatingly bad that they even closed down Disney for a couple days just so their guests could be safe and telling them not to go outside. And if there's anything that I've learned in my life about Disney and hurricanes, it's that Disney does not, Disney in the over 40 years, like I already think like maybe in 50 years, no wait. No, it's almost 50 years in a couple of years until it's been open, but like it's over 40 now that it's been open. They only closed down the park four times due to hurricanes. Two times was in the late 90s, which I forgot what the names of the hurricanes were at that time, but they were two hurricanes that were back to back. So those were two times that they closed the park. Number three time was in 2004. Like, I forgot the name of the hurricane of that as well. But then the fourth time, it was actually last year during Hurricane Matthew because they anticipated that it was going to be really bad, which didn't turn out to be, like, the worst thing to happen, especially... Well, coming from um, my, my aunt's neck of the woods, which was, like, I don't know, 30 minutes away from my school anyway. Farther away from Disney, in fact, so I... I'm not sure, like, how Matthew affected the Disney parks, but I know in last year that they, Disney thought it was going to be so bad that they offered free hotel rooms for people who could not escape the storm in time. And, yeah, that just proves that Disney's prepared for basically anything bad. And, they will, and when they think a hurricane's going to be really, really bad, they will close down the park. And, of course, if they only closed it down... Well, now it's five times that they get, I guess they had success doing it. So, so now I'm back in my dorm, like I'm back in my nice comfy bed because while we're in the bush building, we had to sleep on the floor and, the, and those carpets are like hard floor carpets and they were horrible for people's backs and sides to sleep on. So of course, so of course I was twisting and turning like for the past two nights because if there's two places I can't sleep on, it, it's anything hard and also anything that's moving. So like I can't sleep in cars, I can't sleep in planes, I can't, I think the only thing I've slept on through the night is on a train, but that's because they had a flat surface bed. But so yeah, like... These past two nights have been like completely awful and if it sounds like I'm really really tired right now it's because I am and I'm hoping that tonight would be like my actual first um, sleep soundly through the night like I don't have to twist and turn anymore even though I do have to get up early tomorrow to do some community service work but it's the community service work is basically cleaning up the school grounds like there's been a lot of tree branches that fell and stuff like that so i think we're just cleaning the rest of the campus up with that plus i need some community service hours anyway 
so that's all good. And um, hopefully, n oh yeah, one more thing. Because of, um, according to campus safety, some of the academic buildings um, lost power also due to the hurricane, and they don't know um, exactly like when those are going to come back, or they don't know when the um, public roads are going to open again. Classes have been canceled until next week, so we're hoping, hopefully, I am going to use this opportunity to make more videos and I will try not to be lazy and take advantage of this um, school closing opportunity to do my lazy roundabouting that I sometimes do. God, I am so fucking tired. It's unbelievable right now. Even, a, even when I finally took a shower, after two days of not taking a shower, which by the way feels great, um, usually I wake up after a shower, but now, like, I'm feeling a lot more drowsy, and I think it's because I have not gotten proper sleep in two days. So, again, I will do my best to get back on video schedule now that this whole hurricane mess, mess has, um, calmed down, and, um, and I, now I have more time to, like, focus on writing things for video prep and whatnot. So um, that's basically my Hurricane Irma story and all that. And I'm not expecting any likes or anything like that, but if you guys um, do care to um, tell your own Hurricane Irma story or any Hurricane story in the comments below, like, I'd be open to letting you post, like, whatever you want. <laughs> I probably need some entertainment also in my life. Especially how fucking tired I am. And, um, and like I said, I will, um, get back to making videos on the best schedule as I can. Hopefully that when class starts up again, I'm not getting a shit ton of homework because the, our syllabuses now for every class I'm taking got fucked up. So, you guys, um, take care of yourselves because I know, um, parts of Florida do not have their power back yet because it's been two days, like one or two days since the storm. I know a lot of people lost their power. So, t when you can, or just please take care of yourselves, um, like, be careful when you're going outside. If they're saying it's dangerous and the power lines are still down, don't take the risk in walking in near those areas because you don't, because the power lines being knocked down are t no joke at all because you could just walk like a few feet away from them and you'd be electrocuted, especially when those power poles are near like, or, or on very wet roads still. Like, don't take that risk. Also, like, like if, and I know, like, Hurricane Jose is, like, around the corner as well. They think it's coming um, this week or next week. So, you guys be careful. Like, my school's going to get updates on if Hurricane Jose is going to be um, worse or worse just as bad as Irma is. Honestly, I hope not because I really want to go back to school and I don't want our school to get rid of Thanksgiving and Christmas break or at least parts of Christmas break or else that would be misery. And basically like during times like this, all you gotta do is make sure that you guys are living as comfortably as possible. I know with situations like this, especially with my situation, it was, even though we did have power in the school building, it still was not comfortable. Like we couldn't go outside for another day after the storm passed because of power cable safety. And um, if the gusts of wind were still too strong and um, 
especially if there's going to be another hurricane, like, coming afterwards. Like, this is still hurricane season and all. Like, always keep yourself aware and in knowledge of what's ahead. So anyway, I hope you guys um, enjoy your rest, enjoy yourselves. Um, please take care of yourselves. Um, please be careful as you're getting back outside. Like, you don't want to hurt yourselves. And I will be back soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.